News for Jax reporter Eric Avignet continues our live coverage of this shooting massacre by getting local reaction from a Jacksonville bar and nightclub. And, and Eric, I, I imagine bar owners just can't help but think, what if? Yeah, right now we're in Rain Dogs Bar and Nightclub in Five Points, where as you can see, it is karaoke night. The owner here tells me that it is almost impossible for any nightclub owner to predict when a gunman is going to just simply walk through the doors and start shooting up the place. But should that happen, she has something in place. She has these exit signs all throughout her establishment letting people know that if there is uh, something jumps off, uh, they don't have to rely on going out the front door. They can also go through the back door. The shooting massacre at Borderline Bar and Grill in Thousand Oaks, California is yet again placing a spotlight on businesses considered soft targets, places where an armed person with bad intentions can easily walk in and shoot anything and anyone in sight. Christina Wagner is the owner of Rain Dogs Bar and Nightclub in Jacksonville. She says bars and nightclubs are supposed to be places where people can relax and enjoy themselves. People coming here to get away from like the worst parts or celebrating the best parts of their lives. But celebration can easily turn to tragedy if a gunman were to walk into a nightclub or bar and start shooting. It's a reality that Wagner says no bar owner can predict, but there are things they can put in place in preparation for such an event. We've always had an escape route and people are pretty, it's pretty obvious and everything is lit and everything is ready. There's double doors and we have gone above and beyond making sure that everybody is going to be safe here. Already, some comments on social media are suggesting that had there been armed patrons inside the borderline bar and grill, the gunman would not have killed so many people. But when it comes to guns, Wagner's rules are simple. I do not condone people coming in here with farms, nor will I ever. There is no reason for it inside a place where we are serving alcoholic beverages and perceptions are askewed. Of course, the question now is whether or not last night's mass shooting will deter people from uh, going out to nightclubs and bars. As you can see right here, it's not deterring these folks from coming out, but we did speak to people who are split on that idea. I'll have their comments coming up tonight at 11. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.